Look into my f***ing eyes, Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. Darius Truxton once again pushing his fights on someone else. Getting someone else to fight his fights. You guys realize that? He's a coward. Queefy Boy can't make his own rant talking about me, so he has to rely on other people. That's the thing about Darius Truxton. He has been defeated by the snakes. 2772. Alt account one came onto the scene, exposed him for who he really is, even got the schematics of the building. And even after that, what did Queefy Boy do? Ran away like a little coward for two to three months. Where have I been? I've been right here standing on the goddamn pillar, waiting for any one of these stupid Truxton Army rats incels to come at me and I fought all my battles all myself with my freaking rants I have the snakes backing me up because you guys fear the snakes you guys are scared because the snakes have leverage over every single one of you. Darius Truxton, we know everything about your life. We know you're a sorry sack of crap that proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys and gave her 50 reasons why she should marry you. There's two over two pounds of cheese. Guess what? She ain't gonna marry you. She's a heart and region chick in Norway. You're a poor little piece of trash that can't even hold a job for longer than a month because you can't wait to get your unemployment check, huh? You can't I cannot wait to get your unemployment check, government assistance, Section 8 housing, welfare checks, so you can little buy a little Switch games in your little GameCube. Your GameCube is my money. Say thank you, Slotham. I own your life. I destroyed you. You banned the word Slotham. You banned the word Slotham from your live chat because I live rent free in your head. You think about that red mask every night you go to sleep because you don't know what's next. Maybe Robert, maybe you might get another welfare check. Hey Robert, how's it going there? I don't give a year. He doesn't care about you, Darius Truxton. No one cares about you. Your whole army is trolling you right behind your back. That's what you don't realize. You had a bunch of incels in your army, Cyan Radio Cell, genetic freak with a chin like Buzz Lightyear with white specks on the monitor back in your comment section after you guys stabbed each other in the back many, many, many times. Everything about the rats is stabbing each other in the back, right? There is Truxton. That's why you're such a piece of trash. You went over to a game con with a goddamn double XL shirt that says you're property of the game chasers. And now, since after all this has happened in the retro gaming community space, everyone knows how much of a scumbag you are. They recognize your face. You're chinless from one angle, double chins from another angle, wearing flood shorts because you live near the docks of Hamilton. You got your dumb little Eminem haircut on and you're at friggin' Pat the Ennis Punk's panel. Pick me, Pat. Pick me, Pat. Pick me, Pat. There's literally video evidence of you, Queefy Boy, getting beat up lift it up to the ground and all you could do was grab the guy's crotch in defense you weirded him out and he actually stopped beating you up that's the people you guys follow in the trucks and army by the way so i saw there was this video made by some other youtuber this is all i have to say to you i got notes for your you know, you know that if you put that on your main channel or on the other main channel, I would get clout and people would actually start coming to my channel and I'd gain a lot of more viewers. You know that. That's why you had to put it on your alt. That's all I'm going to say to you. You're a coward too. Put on your real channel just like I do. I put my rants on my real channel and I let people know straight to their goddamn face that they're scumbags. Your whole little trucks and army. Albert Menencock, huh? How does it feel? How does it feel that I'm still here making videos every single day and you can't even maintain a channel for more than two months you lost two channels in a month and now you have these garbage uh, crappy rants on twitter that nobody cares about nobody cares about except dean tv a failed father that freaking waves away his rights to his eight-year-old son failed youtuber can't even break 30 views per video Failed wrestler, the guy's a freaking jobber going around to bingo halls. That guy's a piece of trash and has to upload your videos on his account. You guys are all a bunch of losers in this whole space. Every single one of you. Dave C, you racist prick who beats your wife and comes on YouTube and laughs about it. That's a fact. And we are live, live and on location. And you just can't wait to show up to a Queefy Boy stream. You do know a Queefy Boy. Darius Truxton is in his mid 40s and hasn't driven a car in his life. How pathetic is that? That is absolutely pathetic. He's a piece of garbage, doesn't even do his license test.
All right, the guy friggin' supposed to be working at Boston Pizza washing dishes, and we find out later on that instead of actually washing dishes, because that's all his intellect can handle, this piece of trash is hiding around the pillar in the dining area of Boston Pizza, staring at the server's black leggings. That's how much of a creep he is, to the point where he send unsolicited D pics to Candace. Guys, the whole story about Candace, it's a fact. I have the receipts, I have the whole story. It's true, it is actually true. Candace Candace housed Darius Truxton in her place when he couldn't afford a car because he never can. He has to drive a freaking pink, pink tricycle to Boston Pizza. You got that going on. And this piece of trash living at Candace's place and then sent Candace a D-pick. That's a fact. I have the receipts. First of all, Slotham is a, a legend. It's true. Darius Truxton is an incel. He always was. He never had a girlfriend in his life and he doesn't have one now. It's an imaginary one. What woman with that's divorced with two kids going through a divorce, selling a house is going to waste her time with some loser at 2772 Smell Manor in a cat piss smelling apartment, dirty, dingy, and disgusting with a dumb, stupid, dirty vent above his kitchen table eating poor man's TV dinners at nighttime. That's not gonna happen do you guys understand that why do you insults believe everything Darius Truxton said it's been proven fact after fact after fact that this guy is a scumbag always was he's a liar too this guy says that Slotham doesn't bother him then why did he go on friggin you Twitter a screenshot my video page went to team YouTube and cried and said take down this channel it's bullying and harassment hey queefy boy I'm still here what are you gonna do about it nothing shut your goddamn mouth you piece of garbage your clothes smell like cat piss you're laying your sl you're sleeping in your stupid little mattress that also smells like cat piss because you're too lazy so, okay, Slothin might have buried the trucks and army. Who gives a fuck? To clean that goddamn litter box, which is under your washroom sink, because every time you take a shower once a month, you stink up the whole goddamn apartment, and you're stinking up all the friggin' smell manner, and then you're such a crybaby that you have celiac disease. Don't worry about it, queefy boy. Domino's does sell gluten-free pizzas, all right? Gluten-free pizzas, queef. Keep crying, queef. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. I'm still going to continue to destroy you, and I'm going to get bigger and bigger. I'm going to get more and more subscribers as I'm growing right now actively. That's what you guys can't stand, is my growth is ever increasing every single day. And more and more and more people are going to know how much of a loser you are, Darius Trucks. And more and more people are going to know that you're the same scumbag, Queefy boy, that you're such a simp, that instead of actually going around the town, instead of actually going to West Ron Fair and Final Fantasy XI online and finding Jazzy Jackrabbit to get that rare mantle, you're running around like a goof in Sandoria in circles looking for the next friggin' female character to marry. You might watch out because that female- Stacking paper, that's what the snakes are doing? They're S tier, really? Another character might be James Campbell, some hobgoblin nose, 400 pound fat Estella wife marrying piece of garbage that catfished women on AOL online by posing as a lesbian. Hey, James Campbell, you're going to hell for that. Do you know that? You're, your sins are not forgiven. You're a fake reborn Christian. And at the same time, Estella, you're not answering us. What happened to Estella? Because last time you opened your comment section, someone asked you what happened to Estella and you deleted the comment. Guess you got triggered on that, huh? Estella dumped you because you're the same loser, James Campbell, that got evicted from your own house. And then at the same time, you freaking told people it's safe to jaywalk, and then you get hit by a car. Then you got Albert Menenkak, huh? Hey, Albert, how does it feel? Huh? How does it feel prancing around the streets of Florida with your shirt off, screaming 50 deep trucks in army for life when that piece of scumbag stabbed you in the back? Now at the same time, you're walking around Florida, freaking smoking cigarette butts off the uh, off the ground, freaking chain smoking them. You're turning into Nosferatu at nighttime. You're you little piece of shit, scrawny pussy. Boxing raccoons for that last piece of blue mar blueberry muffin at the bottom of the dumpster. You're climbing Home Depot's friggin' roof so you can get a better Wi-Fi connection. You're stealing electricity from them. You have no life. You have a, your friggin' homeless bum that has a cement pillow, and then you just can't wait for Cyan Razor Cell to come on over with his premium vest so you can both walk on over to the Florida Everglades where your blue tent is configured with hobo sticks and shoelace strings, and then you're gonna get bent over by Cyan Razor Cell. Darius Truxton's gonna be jealous because 
because all he wants to do is freaking look at men in tights wrestle each other because he's a loser. Remember, I just want to watch cable TV and I just want to forget about everything. I don't want to talk about drama. You're a scumbag. You always talk about drama. I own your life. Snakes own your life and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. Touching tips with, 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 with Sludum.